Came under fire in February, the head of a $190 million State Department accused of not doing its job to protect the people and the environment of California. Tonight, for the first time, the director of the Department of Toxic Substances Control sits down to answer questions after a series of NBC reports prompted criticism from state senators and an ongoing ethics investigation. Vicki Wynn here now with the interview. Terry and Jess, Director Debbie Rafael leads a department with more than 900 employees charged with policing companies that pollute the air, soil, and water. She says she was disappointed to hear insiders say her department was too cozy with industry, but she admits they were right when they said the DTSC wasn't meeting its mission. We were not serving the people of California. We first caught up with Director Debbie Rafael six months ago after her agency declined to provide anyone to speak on camera about accusations that the DTSC failed to punish companies with long histories of polluting the environment. I would take issue with the fact that we are failing to enforce. Now, halfway into her appointment, Rafael addresses the failures, including those raised by veteran staff. The expectation the public has to be protected is not being served. It's like making industry happy is the primary responsibility. How do you feel then when people say DTSE regulators are falling down on the job? I feel disheartened, frankly, because I would say that it's a little extreme to say we're falling down on the job. However, I would not say that we're doing everything we can. The day after we spoke to you on the sidewalk, you issued a memo to your staff saying uh, about 20% of the companies under DTSC regulation were operating with expired permits, 22 out of 118. Uh -huh. What number is that now? You know, I would love you to talk with my permitting staff. I don't know the number right now. Her department confirms that number has not changed. Many say DTSC is under-equipped when it comes to enforcement and investigation. Current records show 93 people work in the enforcement office alongside 12 criminal investigators. They oversee 118 facilities and more than 100,000 generators of hazardous waste. Do you have enough enforcement officers and criminal investigators in your agency to police the polluters? I believe we do. Why then are folks in your own agency saying there are too many chiefs and not enough warriors, not enough people on the front lines? I'm with them in the sense that we do need, we can always use more resources. Debbie pointed out that I've been here many, many years. For the first time, Rafael addresses the departure of her second in command, Odette Madriago. She stepped down after our investigation raised questions about her investments in companies the DTSC oversees. Madriago is now the subject of a state investigation for a potential conflict of interest. Did you put pressure on her to step down? No. Did no. you think the investigation was at all a distraction to what she needed to do and what you needed her to do? I think the investigation was tough on her, frankly. We asked the director what she's doing about Evergreen Oil in Newark, a repeat violator of pollution laws that neighbors have reported for decades. They've denied it, denied it, denied it. There's nobody to um, help us with this. Evergreen has had oil spills, it has had leaks, it has had fires. People in the community tell us they smell gas, they have reported this time and again. And when you look back at the company history, it really hasn't faced any significant sanctions. Why is that? Evergreen is absolutely under careful scrutiny and careful attention from our department as well as other entities. When it has a history like that, why not suspend or pull the permit until they get their affairs in order? When we make the determination on uh, either suspending or revoking a license, it's based on the nature of the violations. How serious are the violations and what is our authority to do so? I think that's the frustration though. Doesn't the buck stop with the DTSC, not at the local level? The buck does stop with DTSC under those circumstances that we have authority for. But insiders say the DTSC has the ultimate authority and they blame the department for handing off its duties to city and county regulators. They choose to try and worm their way out of dealing with that pro problem by pushing it off on another regulatory agency. Communities point to Chevron in Richmond. When a pipe exploded and sent 15,000 people to area hospitals, DTSC posted a letter saying, we do not have legal authority to oversee the refinery's production area. We have the authority to shut down a business when we feel like the health of the community is at risk and when we see evidence of harm to the environment or to human health. I think the people in the communities near Evergreen and Chevron would say, check and check. My role as director is to make sure that our authorities are being 
exercised to the fullest extent possible. And I'm committed to do so both at Evergreen and Chevron in conjunction with other agencies. Rafael says in the past two years, the DTSE has shut down operations at two hazardous waste facilities. She says she's also established this, a plan called Fixing the Foundation, to refocus the department on its mission to enforce the state's environmental laws and punish businesses that break them. It's my commitment to the people of California that when I'm gone, I've left in place a system that is robust, defensible, and meaningful for the future. Can you see how some people would think this is more lip service? I would hope they wouldn't. Director Rafael says her plan is on the department website with the timeline and progress reports. The next opportunity to see that progress comes any day now when the DTSC announces how it will actually fix its permitting program. And of course, Jess and uh, Terry, we will be following that progress and report though those results back to you. Look forward to it. Thanks very much. And if you have a tip for our investigative unit, give us a call at 888-996-TIPS or send us an email to theunit at NBCBayArea.com.